Hi, it's Wasabi. Welcome back to the channel. We've got a battle on the Melanotka map with Fury from one of our clan and his platoon with Lion Balls. And they're both in the Doom Turtles, the T95. It's a standard battle, so standard 15 minute game. Uh, hopefully, he's got turbo mounted. Which it uh, does look like. Get him up to 20k's. It's sort of slightly transformed the characteristics of the um, T95. It does make it more maneuverable as well. And it's a pretty potent TD. It's probably one of the best TDs of tier 9. early targets but uh, nothing really showing up at the moment I mean tanks are spotted but all behind cover that's a tier 8 tier 9 game so now top tier which will help and it's got a pretty full loadout of APCR, which will give him the best uh, shield velocity and pen. And luckily, that leopard PTA is not getting too close, although it looks like it was visible for a little while. So, if you're just pulling back, hoping that one of them will come up over here, and you've got the Progetto. He was spotted, but he's not now. like his team's made a pretty full push to the hill. And they're all engaging up there, I'm starting to see the hit point totals change, so a bit of exchange of damage. It looks like the enemy's lost their first tank. Oh, I'm getting a bit of comment in the chat. Finally getting into a position where they can defend the hill push now to, to the obviously the speed of the T95. Well, there you go. Furious first kill. Uh, yeah, the speed obviously doesn't let them participate at the top of the hill. They'll never get there in time before it gets overrun. And to get the most benefit of the T95s, the hill team need to pull back a little bit to encourage the enemy to come over the top. That's true of any team with TDs that are defending in the forest. That doesn't mean you can't take the hill. If you're obviously overrunning the enemy, that's fine. But here we go, he's got a target there. Now, they didn't like that sound, it connected, but um, just have a look at the size of the reticle compared to the size of the tank, and you can get an idea of the difficulty of shooting at this range with this gun. But I guess as it hits, that's going to give you a pretty impressive impact. Alright, it's got a Chieftain P there. Nicely full health. And it gets a nice hit on it. And the Chieftain Prototype uh, just pushing a bit too far, I think. Sure, you should be able to get another shot in. And in fact, sends him back to the garage. So that's two kills there to Fury. Now, object triple seven, just getting partial thing is hidden by the wreck of the chief prototype, it looks like. And again, side of the reticle indicating, you know, the um, chance of hitting your target when it's twice as big as the tank is, you know, about 50% of what the normal probability of hitting your target is. But it does mean you can't 
shoot at the targets. In fact, there he goes. Very small target there on the um, T-54. I'm going to just go through the turret. And he's got the triple seven lined up, but no better choice there with the um, the Shrek. And he goes through that. Bit of a low roll there, seven eleven, but um, nonetheless, it's all good damage. So it's creeping up to three and a half k. Needs to punish this triple seven for pushing forward. In fact, there he goes, gets a first hit in there. So a steady accumulation of damage here. And luckily, so far, he hasn't been spotted, although they'll know that uh, there's danger down in the forest. So it looks like they're being relatively careful. Just notice on the uh, minimap there, the Leopard PTA just creeping up further forward. Yeah, nothing there on the 122. Oh, here's the 777 again. And again, that probably went into the tank in front of him. And the 777 takes out the TNH. So, game is progressing. It's still relatively even. They've got one tank up. Again, not connecting with the 777 there. A little bit down on hit points. But not a whole lot. And I had a shot there on the T-54, but... Uh, not uh, while he was loaded, which is yeah, pretty common complaint. And there's this triple seven again, just coming out from cover. Can he get a shot in? Well, yes, he can hit that time. But it looks like he hit the tracks. So this is definitely a bare knuckle fight at the moment. The um, losses are pretty similar on both sides, and hit points on both sides. It's going to come down to who can maintain the strongest position. And their quick exchange there. Lion Balls takes out the Uda 16 and the T54 takes out Lion Balls, so he must have been on pretty low health at that point. And so the priest still the same. Oh, just missed a shot there on the 777. Had him lined up, but he just moved across the field of view before he could shoot. So the enemy's starting to push in. That was EBR Assassin in the pattern there, just got taken out. And he finally gets a shot on the PTA and ammo wrecks him, so full value there. Very nice, and that takes him to 5k. So still one tank down, but they got a slight lead in hit points, and so again, it's pretty line ball at the moment, and um, this could go either way. Now yeah, we've just got seven minutes to go, but the enemy looks like they're pretty convinced they need to push in, which is a good thing. It's only a good thing if you've got more than one gun defending here. So he's got a T-44 down low, Concept 1B is also pulled down low. So that's leaving fear in a fairly exposed position. BZ-166 has stayed down at that G1 area most of the game, but um, looks like he's been doing some work. No, he actually hasn't got a kill. I thought he had one, but um, anyway, looks like Caliban pushing up there too. Alright, so Fury's basically lost any spotting. The T-44 is too far away and too low to spot for him, for anything coming off the hill. Oh, here we go, triple seven. Fury spotted him, and that went into the tracks. And luckily, he's bounced a hit from the T54, and the triple seven also took a hit there, not from Fury. And he should be able to get rid of him now. Yep, goes. He did take a hit from the T54. That T54 also taking damage from the T44, so it's all happening right now. Bounces thing coming around from the. 122, but realises the Fock is a bit of a threat there and managed to put a round into him. Concept 1B defending against the T54. 
can Fury dispose of him, or is he going to be taken out by the concept? No, concept takes him out, that's good. Please head down below has been removed by the Caliban. So it's all happening here. Now they're in a bit of a hole, they're now one tank down, and they don't have a lot of hit points left. Although Fury's got quite a few of his own, he's got 1200, which is definitely enough to keep operating. Although he needs to pick up that Fock on, there we go, this bit of luck. The Fock is now broadside onto him, and he puts a nice shot through. And doesn't get spotted, but leaves the Fock on 12 hit points, and that allows the Fock to take out the Concept 1B. And he should maybe only get the kill shot here, lines him up, puts a shot in, but uh, yeah, I think that uh, went over the top possibly, or just behind. And he needs to reacquire the Fosh, which he has. And he hasn't been spotted yet. There he has now. Takes a hit from the 1-2-TM, but manages to get rid of the Fosh. And here comes the 1-2-2-TM. Now, the good thing here, Fury cannot be uh, surrounded as such. He's got his back to the line. That lets him keep the 1-2-2 um, two, two in front of his gun. 1-2-2 realising that he's not going to get around the tank destroyed that easily. Unfortunately that shot got eaten by the tracks it looks like. But he's managing to put some da damage in which is a bit disheartening. So Fury now one shotable to the 122TM but we know the 122TM has got a very little long reload and he doesn't get another shot in before Fury takes him out. So now it is 1v1. Fury just reaching his top gun with that kill and the Caliban is on cap. Oh, in fact there he is. You can get a kill now and finish the game. <laughs> Critical hit. Now, Caliban, it looks like he was going off the, um, the cap at that point, so I don't know if he got the reset. We'll have a look when we see the details. But Fury now, two rounds left of his premium ammunition. Now oh, he's got four HE rounds. And he doesn't need a lot to get rid of this Caliban. It's only got 300 odd hit points, so... Now what you're going to see here is the slowest tank chase in history. There's a Doom Turtle chasing after a Caliban. And there's just over two and a half minutes to go. Now, this Caliban could do a number of things. He could try and flank and get rid of Fury, because if you got a side shot in on Fury, I'm sure that would get a win for Caliban. Caliban just as similar, doesn't want to get spotted first and taken out. here trying to reacquire the target. It's good view range obviously, um, we can see that. But uh, so far not picking up the target. And of course this is all about picking up your target before he picks up you. So not much more to do. He can rush over to the enemy base. Won't be able to cap in time. By the time he gets there, it will be below 1 minute 30, that is for sure. So, no chance to cap. Really needs this Caliban to play and uh, try and engage. Is there any chance for a win here? So, just turning out into the middle of the field. Bit of a risky move, but it does give you a bit of courage of both the sides and what's in front of you. at the last spot where the um, Caliban hit before. Oh no, he has... That's his last known position on the map as well. So, can he be spotted? That's the question. Now in the last minute, the clock is ticking. Just needs to spot. Oh, and he has been spotted. Can he get the kill? Swings around. Can't really wait to aim in. Yes, he can a little bit. Caliban not knowing where he's being spotted from, and that's at the kill. 45 seconds to go, and that's the win. All right, we've got the details here now. So, just under 7.6k of his own damage and another 700 of assisted. Uh, so that's over 8k of combined, seven kills, and that's given him the Top Gun Award and the High Caliber Award and the Ace Tanker Mastery Badge there. So let's have a look at the team score. All right, it's finished well on top there. 
terms of experience. 1491, really great level of experience. Uh, the Strip K came in next um, with just over a thousand, and Lion Balls doing over 3.3k, coming in third place there. And there's a few other 1AR players there, so we had um, EBR Assassin there in the pattern, and Hyphen, the 255A, both uh, exiting fairly early. And on the enemy side, the 122TM he battled at the end had done over 4k, so a great result there for that player. Um, what did we see the Caliban player doing? 1600, but uh, yeah, didn't uh, feature all that well and couldn't quite pull off the win. In any case, this is Fury's game, so let's have a look at how it dealt out in terms of economics. So he fired 25 shots, which is pretty substantial for a T95. 17 of those hit and 13 penetrations. And over 5k of damage at more than 300 metres, so I'm a bit surprised he didn't get the sniper award, but maybe they went to someone else. Um, he had some missions payouts as well, which helped, but uh, with his standard loadout of premium ammunition, he spent 120k on ammo and 40k on consumables, so a net loss of 56k. So, oh well, that's what you're getting when you're chasing MOEs, and we saw he's got his first mark there, so be getting close to his second mark if he hasn't got that already. Another great game there from Fury in the T95 and from pretty awesome platoon with line balls. When you see two T95s against you with that pair, you should be worried about the result if you're not on the same side. Anyway, I hope you liked the video. If you did, I'd appreciate if you can give it a thumbs up. Uh, it gives the chance to put it in front of more people. And if you haven't subscribed to the channel yet, I'd like you to consider that as well. We'll have more great content to follow this. Thanks very much for watching.